bricks, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, Alpha Wax. Relax, will you? Hello, Alpha Wax. Let's go out. Um, right, let's get right down to business today, uh, shall we? Um, no, Rain Cullum. Uh, she says, I did message this on Thursday morning, but you must have missed it. The vet is like Indiana Jones. He didn't like snakes either. And he was a doctor, non-medical, but a doc, all the same. Yes, you're, you're, not, you're not wrong there. Um, Gary Blair. No, I'm not even re I'm not even reading that out, Gary Blair. No, I'm not even reading it out. Just in case it happened. <laughs> no, sorry, sorry, Gary Blair. No, Eric Oswald. Oh, I expect there will be some jealous remarks over Tim being a pirate. Hmm. Let's just get to the bottom of this, shall we? Um, Tim. Uh, yeah. Uh, hi Emma. Yeah. Hi Tim. Um, can we just sort of get this sorted uh, once and for all yeah um, are you are you sure you're not a pirate uh, no well why would you think I was a pirate um, but you're, you're wearing a pirate hat oh, I'm not wearing a hat hmm um, so you're saying you're, you're definitely not a pirate, no? No, I can't. Can't bear it. Can't bear boats. Oh my God, I said that to you yesterday. Not even a uh, rainbow. Can't, can't even go on a, one of those pedalo things, you know, on, on ponds. Hmm. Well, oh, all right then, yeah. Well, that's that you can. There's something not right going on. <laughs> we'll have we'll have to get to the bottom of this. Um, Gary Blair, uh, yay for the impending staring contest. Now I don't want to excite you um, because it's a Friday and you know what that Fridays are. It's my on duty day, but I'm hoping that there will be a half time show today. Uh, let's just leave it at that. And um, and if there is, then wahoo. If there isn't, it, it'll almost certainly be tomorrow. Wild Renaissance, I haven't forgotten about you. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Uh, maybe, Gary Blair says, it could become a Lego Olympics event. Whose minifig would be the most accomplished, do we reckon? Oh. Um, hmm. who, who would be the best at a staring contest? I mean, it's, it, I mean looking at the... At the Afawak crew assembled before me. I mean, there's, there's a lot of people who um, could be contenders. Now, by the Eric, come on, Eric. You've had your you've had your time with Giles. Um, let's 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 let him go back to where he was. It, we 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 mustn't we mustn't be be hassling Giles. A switch. Woo! 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 Sorry. What was that? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. We thought you were from Canada and then we didn't think you were from Canada. And, ah, and then it took, ah, and then it turned out you was from Canada. It, it's Jillian B. Oh, by the way, uh, I did see somebody, I think it was Faye, I'm not sure, it might have been Annie Miller, uh, but we will get to it later, but I may as well do it now, but there was a request um, that, I don't know why I've just done that, I'm not even at that bit yet, well, it, it's coming, so it can stay there, uh, that there was a request that the Gillian B song be sung by Mr. Graham Triggs. Uh, so without further ado, um, 
Hmm, hang on a minute, please. Hang on. What's happened here? What? Oh, that's why. That'll explain that. Um, so without further ado, it's time for... Mr. Graham Trigg sings. We... Thought she was from Canada and then we didn't think she was from Canada and then it turned out she was from Canada. It's Gillian B. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the quarter round tile detail is chef's kiss with swoozies, eh? <laughs> I, I don't disagree with you, uh, Gillian B. Yes. It was pretty sweet, swoozies. Um, no, Rain Cullen, she says, thank God I'm behind little Sue. I've got a perfect view of Giles. Just the back of his head is enough, but only for today when he's up front with Eric. But everyone's gone mad for Giles. Everyone's gone absolutely loopy goopy uh, for Giles. Um, Gary Blair. Um, is Faye wearing fisting gloves? Oh, for goodness sake. <sighs> no, she's not wearing fisting gloves. She's wearing, she's wearing Alvin Stardust, um, the Alvin Stardust, uh, leather gloves. Uh, possibly driving gloves. You must be out of your tiny mind. Uh. Uh, cuckoo, could you? Uh, uh, right, that'll do. No, they're not fisting gloves, Gary Blair. No, 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 absolutely not. Honestly, it's, it's like it's like all of you are completely out of control, apart from Paula Bradshaw, who is perfect in every way. Hello. Um, hey, how are you feeling about the staring contest coming up? Um, yeah, I, I'm quietly confident. Quietly confident. I. I hope it's a clean match. Ooh, good luck with that. No, you can't go on the pedestal. Um, Eric Oswald, so is Barrowman aware you are nemesis? Will we eventually have an Emma Barrowman lightsaber duel? We all know Emma would whoop him easily. Well, let's just say that uh, I haven't heard from him. I suspect he's absolutely terrified. I suspect he doesn't want the fight. You know? You know? But then who can blame him? I'm a formidable opponent. Yeah, right. Sorry, what? <laughs> Sorry? Someone Did someone pipe up? Then I have this rather fabulous, mysterious... Oh, I know. It must. It you must be welcoming in Tim and Alan Harwood here, uh, where Noreen Cullen just says, "Hello, boys." Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, Gary Blair, Noreen Cullen has been peeping at Perry's winkle. Oh, for goodness' sake! Oh, Gary Blair. Right, let's get Twitter business up and running. Twitter business, Twitter business, Twitter, Twitter business. Ooh. Don't need to look at that. Goodness me. Right, hang on, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I'm very glad to see Rosie Lee's, uh, um, uh, her doodle, Brex Abarider, and a uh, random minifigure have arrived. There you go. That's what you get. That's what you get when you ask for one. And it's your birthday. Uh, ditto. Uh, oh, no, wait. That wasn't the... Uh, that was Rosie Lee. Sorry, this is uh, Ruth Hayes. There we go. Look, she's got the Tim Man. Mm. Yeah, I know. 
Graham Triggs got Dorothy. Someone's got the cowardly lion. I can't remember for the life of me who got it. Uh, Angie Wood is now licensed to brick. Licensed to brick. Angie Wood, well done. Well done to you. Well done. Congratulations, you are now licensed to brick. Uh, right, here we go. Oh, look, how much are you loving that, yes, that Giles got the... Uh... Of course he did. Of course he did. It's the new pin-up. Uh, Mr. Graham Triggs, the VAR, the official referee of Relax with Lego, says, if Dame Don French did public information films, stop, look, listen for squeaky bricks. Mm. How are you feeling about the uh, staring contest that's coming up later today? <laughs> Absolutely. Unac that's unacceptable language. <sighs> Off you go, please. <laughs> no. 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 Don't be rude to Paula Bradshaw. No, you can't go on the pedestal. Absolutely out of control. Mr. Green Tribbs, um Yes, oh, this is an adjudication. Adjudication, an adjudication from Mr. Graham Triggs. An adjudication. An adjudication from Mr. Graham Triggs says, yes, you can finger point at the pointer. Mainly because the pointer can't point to itself. And if I was to give you another card for that, we'll never get this build finished. Mm. 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 This looks suspiciously as if it's going to be the top of a toilet, doesn't it? Mm. 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 Oh, I see. Well, look at that, please. That's rather fabulous, isn't it? I think that can have a round of applause. Uh, and Dame Dawn French uh, comes in. Oh, Lord above. <clears throat> I mean, obviously, in her own voice, it sounds like but I will read it in my voice. Uh, the gauntlet is down. She just says, bring it on, Paula Bradshaw. <sighs> I can't apologise enough, Paula Bradshaw. <laughs> I can't apologise enough. Okay? <laughs> I don't know what else to say to you. She's out of control. She's out of control. She's out of control. Will anyone be able to tame her? <laughs> She's like the wild beast of Relax with Bricks. Um, Pink Lady, I'm standing by with the damp towels and half-time oranges. I have a feeling this could be quite a contest. Uh, Tanya now, not sure oranges would cut it. Maybe some fresh-baked scones. Oh, you know how to worm your way into a little lady's heart. Mm, but jam on top or cream on top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What comes first, jam or cream? Jam or cream? La 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 la. What comes first, jam or cream? Jam, jam, jam or cream? Oh, I could sing that all day. Please don't. Um, oh, this will amuse you, everybody. Guess, guess who I had to sing happy birthday to this morning. This will amuse you. This will amuse long-time viewers of Relax with Bricks. Uh, yeah, Perry from off of that there, the little mix. Yeah, yeah. Where was she when we needed her? <sighs> Absolutely nowhere. Do, 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 do. Look, this is fabulous. This is for actually, shush, we mustn't talk about Perry from that, the, um, uh, the Little Mix, because Dame Dawn French is here now, and she sang the theme tune. 
that's all we're going to say on the matter. And a very good theme tune it was. And is. And continues to be. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. That's, that's a bad business, isn't it? What just happened there? That was, that was a bad business. Um, please enjoy this little kitchenette that's coming. Uh, that, that's, sorry, Brian. Sorry, Brian. Sorry. Little kitchenette that's coming into into existence. Uh, uh, Tim Gilf. Um, oh, hang on. Pink Lady. This is on the scone matter. She says, jam first or you lose. Uh, Tim Gough, um tub of uh, rollers on each half and a quick glance at the jam jar. Loving Tim Gough, aren't you? Are you sure you're not a pirate, Tim? No. Mm. Stan's mum, it, it's all about the clotted cream. The jam is just a nod to convention. Oh, there might be words. I mean, <sighs> there might be words about this from, you know, who, but, you know, so you know. Um, ooh, it's one of these. One of these. Ooh, look, and another lovely door. I love the doors when they're this colour. Sorry, she did a massive burp. Sorry. Sorry. Massive burp. Sorry. Sorry. Um, ooh. Hmm. Mm. There. Well, that's weird, isn't it? This is this is very peculiar, because. Hang on. There's there's no toilet in there. It's just a pipe. Oh no! It's not. It's not a French hole in the floor toilet, is it? Oh. That. Oh no. This this isn't right. There isn't a toilet in there. Oh, we're about to make one. Okay, stop panicking, Emma. <laughs> Welcome to my panic. Welcome to it. Welcome to it. Welcome to it. Why is it telling you to put the this in? What? That doesn't fit in there. Oh, this is crazy madness. Sorry, this is absolute crazy madness. That doesn't fit in there. Right, hang on. It definitely says that shape. That, look, see? See? The L shape, look. Look, there, there. This is now supposed to fit in here. I mean, of course it will. But what, what on earth is going on here? How the heck does this? I mean, that, that just simply isn't possible. That's simply not, po that doesn't fit there. This, what? Oh no. Um, it can't be loose. I don't agree with this. I'm sorry. I don't agree. I don't agree with this on any level. But that that does not fit in. I mean, who has a who has a loose toilet? No, it's, that's shut the door. Don't think about it. That's completely unacceptable. I don't know how that fits in there. Look, let me show you. Let me show you, gang. Let me show you, gang. So. That goes there. That 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 has been fit correctly. You see? That that is fit correctly. And as you can see, the shape there thus is the shape there thus. Okay. Now please look at this. Okay, so we've d we've we've done that, we've done that bit, done that bit. Yeah, we've done that bit, done that bit. It's just, it's a loose toilet. I'm, I'm sorry, but that's, that's completely unacceptable. 
is completely unacceptable. I'll have your thoughts, please, Mr. especially from you, Professor Lego, and especially from you, Mr. Graham Triggs. Thank you. Eric Oswald, uh, Dawn French in Afawax Alcatraz, uh, every day. No, she's not in it, she's on top of it. <laughs> well, if you don't be careful, you might go in it. Sorry, I'm not allowed to point at you with my finger. Phew. If if you don't be careful, Dawn French, you will go in Afawax Alcatraz. You, 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 you're skating on thin icing. <laughs> it's rude. Thank you. I now have an idea for your comedy series on the BBC. Diane French in prison. <laughs> I mean, I'd watch it. I'd watch it. <laughs> Who's not watching that? I'd watch it. Um, she's sort of the, the mama of the cell block. Thinks she rules the roost, but bumbles things every week. I mean, this it's right against itself. Emma can be one of the prison guards, who is both both friend and foe to Don's character. Let me at her. Let me at her. Um, oh, Brian's going in. Wait, we're putting some details in here. Yes, little cup. Little cup. That's going there. Maybe that's salt and pepper. And a little pan. It's going here. Yeah, Brian. Brian's going in. Oh, look, he's ru ru rustling himself up a risotto or something before going into the um, wobbly broken toilet. I mean, I, ca I can't get over that toilet. I can't get over it. <sighs> I can't get over it. Um, where is Muscle Nugger Strawberry, the Sensei, mo, mo, the, the Mutterer, the Moaning Mini, uh, the Lego Whisperer? He says, uh, Twitter threading means you missed Dame Dawn French admitting to being Princess Mombi yesterday. I mean, I don't even know what this means. You'll have to be careful she doesn't start stealing all the other minifigs heads so she can make a squeaky break. Oh, no, get back. No, you can't go on the pedestal. No, there's too much to do. You can't. We can't be mucking about with your squeaky brakes today. So she can make a squeaky brakes advert all on her own. I mean, what, 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 what is, what is this? What is this? What, what, what's this business? Hmm. Uh, Bevis Muscle also says, nice detailing. Shame it's all in baby squid brown. He hates the, he hates the baby squid brown. Um, oh, without further ado, I do believe it's time for the half-time show. Doesn't time go quickly? Anyway, here it comes. It's the fight of the century. Raging star. Please welcome Paula Bradshaw and Dame Don French. Let's keep it clean, ladies. I haven't done it then obviously there was no halftime show but I do hope I did it uh, right where are we up to um, Stan's mum in 1979 I was very excited to go and meet Dave Prowse great cost man I knew he was the man in the Darth Vader suit and I was mad about Star Wars Imagine my nine-year-old disappointment when we arrived to find him dressed as his other job, the Green Cross Code Man. Never got over it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I mean, I know what you mean. Also, it, it was very disappointing, wasn't it, when we all discovered that, 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 that he didn't have Darth Vader's voice. I remember that disappointment. 
but I'm sorry. And, and no, no, uh, no, no disparagement to uh, uh, Char Charlie Chops or anyone from the West Country, but it's not right that Darth Vader had a a, a burr, a burr of a, a soft burr of an accent. No, sorry. No, I am your father, Luke. No, no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Uh, what are we doing here? Yes. Ruth Hayes. Yes, that tricky decorative tiling. Freeze? Is it a freeze, pink lady, she asks, was well worth the trouble. Sorry, Bevis, but I refuse to call it Squitty Brown. It's Ginger Snap, and I like it. Oh, I like that, Ruth Hayes. Ginger Snap. Oh, well done. That sounds fabulous. <gasps> Oop. Oop. Look, nice little sofa. They like having sofas by the stairs in this establishment, don't they? Um, still worried about this bed, aren't you? This is there's something not right about this. This not right. <laughs> now, oh, got some nice little features going on here. Um. Oh, we haven't put on the next layer of thing. That'll explain that then. Let's do that then. When the heck did that happen? Oh. 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 Voila. Voila. Single. Voila. Yup. Okay, right. Clock up. We'll put it at at uh, five to three. Seven is, li is lunch late, isn't it? There's a rock and roll picture on the wall. Hmm. What else? A cleaver, always a joy, and a spoon. Oh. Look, that's come off again. It doesn't want to stay on at all, does it? Look at that for a lovely kitchenette. Meanwhile, the toilet's rattling around. I'm, I'm sorry, I find it absolutely unacceptable and I want an adjudication, please. I, that's a formal request for an adjudication from Mr. Graham Triggs. Formal request. It's very, let's just open up and have a look at, at what this, I mean, what's going on in there? Absolutely wrong. Um, what an essence. If you're taking hand-holding requests, please may I hold hands with Blaze. Yes, all right. All right, come forth, come forth, Wild Renaissance. Thank you. Go on. You can just, there you go. Thank you. It's getting ridiculous. It's getting ridiculous. By the way, this is getting ridiculous. <coughs> Thank you. Oh look, it's 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 one of the 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 two pictures that they ha that they have for the, for any given wall. Oh, I don't think it is going to be the wall. Uh, Rosie Lee says Blaze definitely has the Shane effect. Mm, correct, correct. Correct. Then there's just a long discussion about the L word, which which nobody else needs to uh, be involved with. Uh, Rosalie says, "Congratulations, little Sue, on your new job. 
I assume you'll you'll be working under the guidance of uh, a Jackie Swan, the head of HR. Mm, quite possibly. Here she comes, little Sue. And she's called little Sue. She's little and she's called Sue. It's little Sue. Hello, it's it's me, little little Sue. Hello, little Sue. Where have you been? Normally, you would have been popped in already. Yeah, you know, I just uh, do my own thing, and I just do my own thing. Hmm. All right then. Um, well, what can we help you with today? Well, uh, I've got something to recite. Have Have you? You really? Hang on a minute, little Sue. I've got something wrong. Oh, that's not right. You shush. Um, all right then. Well, all right. Without further ado, it's time for. <coughs> little Sue recites. Uh, uh, um. There was a young lady whose chin resembled the point of a pin. So she had it made sharp and purchased a harp and played several tunes with her chin. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, little Sue, uh, I don't know about you, but uh, my chinny whisks during lockdown. Uh, I could I could probably play a twelve string guitar on my chin at the moment. <laughs> nobody tells you about the menopausal chinny whisks. Nobody tells you. Nobody warns you about them. Nobody. Nobody. Sorry, I don't think you saw any of that. Um. Anyway, look, this is lovely. Mm. That's rather super, isn't it? Now we've got this to put on the back. Which way up though? Right. Mm, okay. That way. Um, pink lady. Oh, <gasps> oh, we've got thoughts from an architectural historian. Hang on, I'll just do this bit and then we'll do it. Oh, this is jolly clever. Oh, this is gonna be, this is amazing. Okay, this is going to be really super. <sighs> right. Hang on. This is going to be brilliant. Look, it's look, it's a telly. Isn't that fab? I'm giving that a round of applause. Right, pink lady. Pink lady. Thoughts from an architectural historian. The colour combination of cream and ginger continues our interwar theme. I have previously seen this in tile, including lining the walls of a sanatorium, making the hospital-style bed particularly appropriate. The tricky freeze would have been made in terracotta or faience, commonly used on brick buildings to provide decorative relief and allow the creation of fine detail which would be difficult to make with brick alone. Oh, thank you, Pink Lady. Thank you, Pink Lady. Thank you, thank you. What would we do without her? Honestly, honestly, what would we do without her? This is this this is precarious. This section I won't lie. It's precarious. Right. No, that's wrong, isn't it? That's very wrong. That's that's really that's awfully horribly wrong. Thank you. That's better. That's better. Thank you. Well done. Oh, a bit of tiling coming up. T tiles? Did someone say tiles? Yes, I did say tiles, John Perry, yes. Uh, Grampy Mark. I was feeling a little down, so I did this. 
Just watch his pants, please. It's like you're pulling your pants down. <laughs> it's it's genuinely like you're pulling your pants down, and I, I uh, it's it's not appropriate. It's not appropriate, Grumpy Mark. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um. Uh, Pink Lady, very impressed by Tim's not a pirate hat. Excellent minifig work, Emma. That Tim Goff says, isn't it? Well, he is super, isn't he? Are, are you sure you're not a pirate? No. Hmm. Uh, 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 hello, it's me again. Yes, little Sue, yes. Uh, I'm excited to accept my new role as PA for birthday admin. I shall order the Affleck birthday book without delay. I'm telling you, little Sue, now this is all on you, okay? This is a big responsibility. Uh, because obviously people like to get a doodah and they like, uh, for example, Ryder, and they like to get a minifig for their birthday, okay? But they're not going to get anything um, unless you remember them now. So this is this is a big responsibility, little Sue. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, honestly, Emma, I'm going to take it really seriously. Hmm. But I am. Hmm. Well, good luck to you in your endeavours. That's that's all I can. Say. Good luck to you. Good luck to you, little Sue. Good luck. <clears throat> I, I, you know, because I do say from experience that it, it's it can be quite the task to uh, keep on top of it all, and that's 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 all I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, I can do. I can. I can do it, Emma. I I can do it. Yeah, I be, I I believe you. I believe you. I'm gonna give it everything I've got. Yeah, I know you are. I know you are. So good luck. Good luck to you, little Sue. Good luck to you. Thanks. Don't muck it up. Don't muck it up the way I've just mucked this up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's no longer mucked up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my panic. Thank you. It wasn't even a panic. It was it was just a minor a minor uh, reassessment. That's all it was. It wasn't a panic. I will not accept it as a panic. Thank you. That's going in there. That's going in there. It's lovely, 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 lovely. Uh, Tim Goff, uh, I, I'm just going to uh, nip into the alleged vet's office to. Borrow that enormous parrot if you don't all mind. Gang. You know how he said he's not a pirate? Why does he need a parrot if he's not a pirate? I, I think we need to keep that off him. Okay. We just... Mm. Kath Pearson uh, says, good luck, little Sue. Make sure that there is no scope creep in that job role. Uh, I, I don't even know what that is. I don't know what scope creep is. But, pff, I, I can be of no assistance in this matter. Neither do I. Neither do I, little Sue. Don't know. I'm, I'm fuming about this toilet. Absolutely fuming about the toilet. I'm... I'm fuming about it. Sorry, I'm pointing with my finger. Sorry. I. Oh no, that fell off. Thank you. Uh, I'm fuming about the toilet. Fuming. <coughs> fuming. Um, Angie Woods. Angie Woods. She's licensed to brick, licensed to brick. Super goose. Licensed to brick, licensed to brick. Well done, you licensed to brick. Uh, Jackie, Sw Jackie Swab, scrub down, scrub down, there she comes. Jackie Swab. Uh, she says, how is your birthday card hanging on? It's balanced at a really precarious angle, or is that the camera angle? Mm, that's just, oh yes, look. Hmm, it's on the roof of the, um, detective's office, I think. Yeah. yeah. 
uh, Annie Miller. Uh, for the next Mr. Graham, oh, I've done that. It was Annie Miller. Uh, she was who asked for Mr. Graham Triggs to sing the Gillian B song. That concludes Club Business. <laughs> Thank you. Now then. Sorry, the massive just massive burp. Absolutely massive burp. Now that's going oh I see that's going on there. Right. This doesn't look quite right to me. I think that goes there. No, it doesn't. It goes it definitely goes there. I think these are all in the wrong place. Right, that one's there. Hmm. Maybe that's no, that's definitely there. Well, they're not placed terribly well. I'm, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to lie. But this is a nice feature. Right. What are we doing? I reckon we've got about ten more minutes. If that. Oh, little Sue, look. That's absolutely lovely. Yeah. Thought you'd like it. I mean, this is like, like it's tall. Be careful, pick that flower up, Emma. Yeah, I've got it, don't worry. It's like magic in, in my heart. Watching flowers being done. Like magic in your heart? Yeah. Yeah. It's like the best thing that ever happened, if I could see it. Yeah, oh, right, don't push on. Gonna look at that little set. Oh, I think it's beautiful. Oh, it's come out. Did you hear the parakeets then? Got loads of them, had three of them on the bird feeders yesterday. And the wood pigeon. These are tricky to get in, you know. That's it. Have to wait for the click.
get it right this time shall we A dilemma here. There's not much left on the table. Do I carry on? No, I am going to have to stop after I've got this one in. What's that I'm doing? <laughs> I've forgotten the layer. Okay, I think that's a sign, isn't it? I'll get this one in and then that'll be it for today. it okay well fabulous uh, TV feature today absolutely adored that lovely little kitchenette that went in uh, the totally unacceptable toilet uh, nice little sofa flora for little Sue lovely window um, so that's it so we'll come back tomorrow and finish bag five see you then bye bye <laughs>